Stop comparing yourself to others. Stop it. <laughs> if you find yourself comparing yourself to others, to their relationships, to their bodies, to their successes, well then this video might be for you. I would like to talk about, I would like to gift you actually a few tips and tricks that I've used and I've worked with my clients to get out of this comparison game and really get into that acknowledgement of the gift, the unique gift of you game, which is a way more fun game to play. <laughs> so here's uh, your tip number one is stop it. I know it's revolutionary, but really stop it. Like in the moment, stop yourself. And this is part of you coming out of an entrainment that you have created. You have created these neural pathways, these uh, habits, these trigger points to go into this comparison game. Stop it. So what I'm actually, you could actually see a stop sign or a hand going up and just in the middle of it, in the middle of the thought, catch yourself and stop it. Now, the more you do this, you're going to get better at it. Uh, you might have been thinking about it for a good five minutes before you go, oh, wait, stop it. It might be a moment. It might be right away, right when you go into it. The more you practice, the better you're going to get at stopping it. And when you go to stop, just stop that thought and demand of yourself, I am not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to compare myself to anyone anymore. Demand that of you to stop it. And if the thought starts to go again, just nope, stop it. Just like as if you were interrupting someone that was really rude to you. Nope, don't want to hear it. Nope, stop stop. And that's what you're going to do to that, that thought process that's coming up. Oh, stop. I'm not going to compare myself to others anymore. Seems kind of easy, huh? Maybe not. Maybe well. So that's number one. Number two is ask yourself, is this even yours? So are you actually going into the comparison game? Are you aware of someone going into the comparison game. Uh, I'll put a link here to a video where I talk a little bit more about the who does it belong to tool. And that's this tool in action, essentially where I talk about us, we energetic beings being these psychic receivers for everyone's thoughts, feelings, and emotions around us. And so you could actually be aware of someone else either comparing themselves to you or they do comparison or that a lot of people do comparison with this particular person that you're engaging with and you think that you have to just because you're aware of it. The awareness piece here, if you get, oh my gosh, it's not mine, it's incredible because you might have been going around your whole life thinking that you compare yourself to everyone, but really you're just aware of others doing that and choosing that. Makes it easier to stop when you acknowledge it's not yours. You cannot change something that is not yours. You don't need to worry about it. It's not your responsibility. You just go, okay, cool. I don't have to buy this comparison game as mine anymore. Tip number three is, and this, I mean, if after number two, you realize this isn't even your thing, you don't even do this, you could probably stop the video here. You're good. Just keep practicing those two things. But you might get the hit of like, actually think this is mine. I, I find myself constantly comparing myself to others. Uh, the only time I feel good is if I feel like I'm above others or I've achieved more or I use it as a way to abuse myself and make myself feel less. Okay, so then let's move on. What else is possible here is actually ask yourself, um, what is it that you are getting out of this? Or what is it that you hope to get out of this comparison? Dun, dun, dun. I like in these types of exercises. Personally, I love making lists. I love writing this stuff down. I'm, um, it's kind of that kinesthetic learning for me. It might not be for you. So do what works for you. But if writing down this list is going to create more, just take, take a few moments, two minutes, five minutes. You can do it right before bed. You could do it in the morning, whatever. 
write down what is it that you get out of this or what is it that you hope to get out of this? So it could be, well, if I compare myself and I'm greater than someone else, then I feel valuable or I feel good about myself. Or um, what I hope to get out of this is that eventually if I can, if I can compare myself to everyone else, then I can find out how I'm wrong so that I can make myself right. (laughs) A lot of insane things might come up, things that don't even make sense. Just write them down anyways. It's fine. It doesn't have to make sense. What you're doing is you're actually, these types of questions will access you. It will go in and access your own awareness and what you're functioning from. You might not be in the forefront of your mind of what you're functioning from. When you can get into that, when you can dig deep in, that's when you're going to have these big awarenesses that can be truly life changing for you. So what is it that you get out of this? What is it that you hope to get out of this? Okay. And then once you have that list complete, I want you to look at that list, be with it. And on each item, you want to ask, is this actually true? Do I actually gain this or will I ever gain what I hope to gain from this? If not, cross it off, put an X behind it. Maybe you could write the word lies, lies next to (laughs) that list item and really acknowledge that some of us are chasing a carrot that we're never going to get. And that that carrot is some reward that we think we're going to get by judging ourselves or by doing competition with others or doing comparison with others. And you might have been chasing that carrot your whole life and you get like a little nibble of it and you think, yeah, I just I just haven't got the whole carrot yet. But what if what's true is that you're never going to actually have that satiation of possibility from comparison? All right. So here's. I don't even know what number I'm on. Here's the next one. This is another list kind of exercise. I want you to write down, if I wasn't comparing, what greatness of me, it's kind of two ways. We're going to, I'm going to just, what greatness of me could I then perceive, know, receive, and be? What greatness of me? Because if we're doing comparison, you can't acknowledge the greatness of you. If you're trying to compare yourself to someone else, you're not acknowledging the greatness of you, right? You're doing this, um, that, well, this really interesting, <laughs> this really interesting dance, if you will, of judgment and calculation. So if I wasn't comparing myself What if I wasn't comparing myself to this person or my business to this person's business or whatever it is, what, what would you become aware of? And what greatness of you would you become aware of? And then I want you to ask what greatness of them would you become aware of? Because you're also negating the greatness of them when you go into this zone, right? It's not from an acknowledgement of the gift of them. Oh my gosh, I just love the way their body moves. That's an acknowledgement of the greatness of them. So you're also cutting off that awareness. So how much of when you go into comparison, are you cutting off awareness massively? And now the last thing is, would you be willing to acknowledge that you're the last of your kind. Like we we know when animals start to become extinct, right? And it's, it's classified extinct when there's a certain like number, I'm not sure of the number, uh, left of a species on the planet. And then at one point, we don't know that we, if there's any left on the planet, what if you were the only one of your kind? That's how different you are. That's how different you are. And with species, it's, it's more, uh, easy to see the difference because you could physically see like this particular type of bird or this particular uh, sea animal. You can see the difference between, um, you know, a peacock and a toucan. You can see the difference between those. You might not see the difference between you and another person, 
but there is a difference, a dynamic difference right down to the energetic level to the right into the cells of your body and the molecules of your infinite being. What if there, you were the last of your kind, you were this rare creature and if you truly acknowledge that, how could you ever compare your rarity to someone else's rarity? Now, there could be similarities, right? Two different types of birds, two different types of people. Maybe you like similar things, or you have similar interests. But the more you put your attention on the rarity of your gift, the uniqueness of you, that is the generative gift of being that you can have. Do you see, do you sense even that energy right there? When you start to look for the greatness of you and the difference of you and the gift of that difference. And now go back to, I'm going to compare myself. Hmm. Which one has that more like, Oh my gosh, I'm expanding into possibilities and I wonder what I could create. And, and the other one, the comparison one, really makes you have to come down. to So to compare, you have to almost make yourself like the other person and you're not. And so that you can compare these two things. Like if you had this unicorn, you had this dragon, you would, how do you compare them? They're so different. So you'd have to make one more, more like the other to try and do a comparison. Well, none of that is an acknowledgement of the greatness and the gift of anyone or anything. So what if all the rewards you thought that you were actually going to get from this are just lies? I hope this video contributed to you. I hope that you even for a moment get a glimpse of the greatness of your rarity of your unique difference. And wouldn't it be way more fun for you to, to dive into and explore that world than to constantly be comparing yourself to everyone and everything. Your business, your body, your relationships, it is one of a kind. It will never be duplicated in totality. It can never be copied. People can try. But no one can be you and you can't be anyone else. So what if you started to explore the greatness of what being you is? <laughs> and you might just have a lot more fun. If you like this video, please press the like button, hit the bell, subscribe, and um, please share this with a friend. Until the next video. Mm -hmm.